In this video we're going to do a couple examples with circles. So the first example says this, find the standard equation of the circle with center 2 minus 3 and radius 4. So I've drawn that circle right here. It's not a very good picture of a circle, but uh, the center is 2 minus 3 and the radius is 4. <clears throat> so let's remember the standard equation for the uh, an equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now let's remind ourselves here, what is our r? Well, our r is 4, and the 2 minus 3, that's the hk. Okay, that's the center. Right? The center is hk, and the radius is r. So if we plug things in, the 2 and the minus 3 do not go in for the x and the y, even though the 2 is the x-coordinate and the, y, uh, the minus 3 is the y-coordinate. The, the 2 and the minus 3 go in h, for h and k, so it's x minus 2 squared, plus y minus a minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared. And we could simplify this a little bit. We have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared is equal to 16. Okay, and this right here is the standard equation for the circle centered at 2 minus 3 and radius 4. Okay, now we could ask the question in a little bit different way. Uh, I could give you uh, the equation of a circle and say find what's the center and what's the radius and also graph this circle. Okay, so up here I gave you the center and the radius and asked you to find the equation. Here I'm giving you the equation asking you to find the center and the radius. Now remember, uh, the standard form of the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now notice the r would have to be 3, right, because 3 squared is 9. Now if you had something other than 9 there, 9 is a nice number because it's a perfect square, but if it were something like 17 there instead of 9, r would be the square root of 17. Okay, just like r here is the square root of 9, which is 3. Okay, now the h you can see corresponds to the 5, and notice x minus 5, you have x minus h, so h is 5. And the k is going to be 0 because y minus 0 is the same thing as y, right? So it's just y squared, or that's y minus 0 squared. So the k is going to be 0. Okay, so we found our center, right? The center, the center is 5 comma 0, and the radius, radius, is 3. Okay, so we could sketch that here. 5 comma 0 is over here, and we need to draw something that has a radius of 3. So I need to go maybe up 3, to the right 3, to the left 3, and down 3. And I'm not very good at drawing circles here on this, but okay, <laughs> that's, that's good enough. All right, so you have a circle centered at 5, 0 with a radius of 3.